Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. I have put all my supplies and materials down in the description box and there's links to most everything down there so you can find them easily. Now I am using this uh, ink pad that is for embossing and it was dry and I was thinking I'm just gonna have to go buy another one but I saw the Frugal Crafter Lindsay talk about all the things that you can do with glycerin oh my word i was so excited because embossing pads are one of them so all i did was get some glycerin put in my embossing pad and off i went so check out her video on glycerin she has so many tips on how to use that in the craft room it's unbelievable so go check her out the frugal crafter okay so what i'm doing here is I'm stamping out with just a plain rubber stamp um, the design that I'm wanting for my background and these are great for cards even if you want to just leave them the way they are you don't have to paint anything else on them but um, so this is what I'm wanting to show you is this technique just for the background so I've stamped out my design this is clear embossing powder so I've sprinkled it on there and shook off the excess, put it back in my container. Now this is where it gets tricky. I take my heat gun. Now if you get close to this photo paper, it will pop, it will buckle, it will get rough, it will definitely show up when you put the inks on there. So <clears throat> there is a very fine line. Not hot enough, too hot. If you can find that middle area, you are good to go. What I have found, because I have played with this so much, because I, I wanted this to work, is I've realized, come down a little close to it, come back up. Don't ever let it get really hot. But you can tell that as I'm going down, it's getting hot enough just for that few seconds that it's down there, that it's melting the embossing powder, but my paper is staying uh, intact. It is not buckling. Now, every once in a while, we'll come across that. But for the most part, this is the way to do it. I have tried it all. So, kind of go in and out with this this uh, heat gun like this. I know it looks crazy and uh, you feel like you're doing this forever. But this is a great way to emboss on photo paper that's heat sensitive. So, I don't know about you, photo paper. I've never used it. But with this, this is the best way I have figured out to emboss on this paper and keep some integrity to the paper. And look how pretty that is just using it by itself. Now here I'm putting on my alcohol and going to put the drops of the color that I've chosen for the background. And you can make it dark or light, whatever you're wanting to do on that. And just dry it in there. Be pretty careful not to let it sit too much. It will start working this embossing off the paper. So you want to go ahead, apply it, get it dry as quick as possible.
I'm not worried about the edges of this. I'm just wanting to show you how to do this background. Um, if I do use this for anything, I'll cut all that off anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Look how cool that is. That is such a neat little background. Now, what I'm going to do now, you can stop there, and that is really cool and has a good effect. What I'm going to do now is, and I did this in video 44, is I take the alcohol lift ink and I use the same stamp that I've used before. I put it on that, um, the lift ink, I put it on there, let it sit for just a couple seconds, not long. Um, I dab it off with a paper towel and then I will wipe that off. Also, after you've stamped your alcohol ink, you still have alcohol in this. So you can stamp a card or an envelope and just really make use of your materials and not waste anything. Now here, I'm just dabbing it off. And then you can take Q-tips work really great, especially if you're working around this embossing because you do not want to rub this hard. It will peel right off. So I just dab a little bit uh, with the Q-tip and decided most of the time it works really great. I'm just going to do the paper towel. I did mess up and, and didn't get all of it dabbed off on that one leaf. And uh, it rubbed off the ink around it. So just be careful. Dab it off and then gently wipe it off. And there I'm showing you how it looks when you put it on a piece of paper. It's not dark, but it's it's still a design and it's still something cool you could put on things. And here I'm just wanting to show you the alcohol um, lift ink by itself and not with the embossing part. So I've done t two sections off where it's just the color. And that's just a really neat look to it also. So you've got three different ways you could do it. So I hope this has really shown you some good ideas and got you inspired to go out there and do some different stuff. Okay, now we're done. And this is a fun way to add texture, raise texture, your positive and negative coloring and definition, and that you can use for background or just the picture itself. So I hope this has given you some good ideas and thanks for watching and y'all go have fun.